In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this pulsing button for a music player. We're going to start by drawing a circle that's 80 by 80 pixels. Then we're going to give it the same color as the primary color of the app. Then we're going to give it a drop shadow. We're going to make it the same color as the circle. Then we're going to change the format from hex to HSL and then change the lightness value to 64 because the main color is too light to really see the pulsing. We're going to make the X and Y value 0, give it a blur of 15, a spread of 8 and an opacity of 50%. And we're going to draw another circle that's 72 by 72 pixels. And we're going to, since it's a linear gradient, we're going to select, use a color picker to select the color from the spot where we're going to place the button. And then we're going to give it the same drop shadow as the first one. X and Y values of zero, blur of 15, spread of eight, but this one is going to have a, an opacity of 25%. Then we're going to hide the drop shadows on both of the circles because we're not going to need them yet. Then we're going to take the play icon, which is 30 by 34 pixels, and center it on top of the smaller circle and frame that. Then we're going to put the, the smaller one, we're going to center the smaller one on top of the bigger one and then frame the whole thing and turn it into a component. Then we're going to add a variant and replace the play icon in the variant with a pause icon. Then we're going to create another variant with the pause button and unhide the drop shadow on both of the top and bottom circles. Now all that's left is to create the interactions. We're going to connect the play button to the first pause variant and set it to on tap instant. Then we're going to connect the first pause variant to the second one and set it to after delay of one millisecond, smart animate, thousand milliseconds, and then connect the second one back to the first one the same way. Then we're gonna connect both pause buttons to the play button and set, it, set them to on tap instant. Now our interactive component is complete. So let's copy the first variant, which is the play button and place it in the middle of the frame. I created an auto layout with a set to space between. So just stick it in the middle and then uh, let's run the prototype. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll catch you in the next one.